people welcome back to my channel welcome my English nation oh gosh okay I need a guys <laughs> come please come la. today today I'm venting should I say I'm venting I am venting ah you guys choose the people you have kids with okay Please choose wisely. I'm not one for abortion, but if you see that you're pregnant and the person already treats you like shit, do something. Do something. Okay, 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 okay. I need to calm down. <laughs> so today, today, my people, I just found out the real reason why um, are we gonna call this person Josh again? We're gonna name him George. So I had a baby with George and then me and George separated. Me and George were together for a very, very long time, but it doesn't matter that. And then okay, I'm gonna give you a backup story on what what is why why the story is leading to this today. So me and George have a child and our child is four years old. There, there's a child. And then um when we separated, we had an agreement that he can have access to the child at any time he wants. Back then, I remember it was like three years ago. Yes, three years ago. So the child three years ago was still on diapers. So our agreement was that um, he can have our daughter at any time during the day, whether he comes and pick up the child in the morning, but he has to bring back the child at night. The child must stay and must sleep at home because the child is still on diapers and the baby is still young. Okay, fine. He used to do that, he used to do that good. And then this other day, out of the blue, he goes and picks up uh, the baby and then he does not return the baby. And then when I called, he started making threats. And I don't do well with threats, especially when it's my child. Come for me, it's okay, but don't come for my child. I know you're part of the sperm, but you didn't carry the child and didn't give the uh, birth to the child. That is my child. Don't ever threaten me with my child. So. He refuses to give back the baby and he kept on saying, kept giving us this word, you will never see the baby ever again. You will never see the baby ever again. And I heard that. And I'm like, of course. What do you mean? And mind you, back then, I, it was, I remember there was like four or five cases of um, biological parents killing their own kids. I remember there was a lady who put poison in her kids, two, three kids. Us food and they died and there was a man who killed the kids because he was angry with the wife <coughs> I need to breathe. so he, like you understand the kind of situation that I was in and now he's saying I will never ever see the baby ever again in my life I don't do good with threats and such threats I do not take I remember at that particular time I was working in Pretoria, so I was staying in Pretoria at the time when he came to fetch my baby. So my mom handed over the baby to him with clothes. It's a baby, you need to have clothes because baby mess up every time. Especially a baby with a diaper, you need to be changing the diaper every time. Bless me. Jesus bless me. It's not nice to talk when you're angry. God is trying to stop me. I, I get you, God. I get you. I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna come back. So, so he started making those threats, and I was not happy. Day one passes. He does not bring back the baby. Day two pop Like it's in the middle of the day for day two. I feel like now that um he's no longer picking up my calls, no longer picking up any of my family members' calls. He's, like I even call the dad. He's no longer picking up that his dad's calls. And then I got pissed, like, okay, I don't know what he means, but I'll never see my child ever again. Yo, guys, like, like, it messed me up very well. Like, I was so messed up. And then I called um, a lawyer, my lawyer, and my lawyer says, if he's threatening you that, and I have proof that he said that. So he's like, no, don't wait. Don't, don't, don't uh, prolong this because you do not know what it means. He might mean he was gonna kill the child. He might mean maybe he's gonna go fly to another country. We do not know exactly why he, what he, what, oh, oh, English, what, what, what he means by I will never see the baby ever again. Period. We don't know what it means. So he told me to act up and call the cops. Okay. 
I told my mom like please go to the cops they're gonna assist you in taking the child because now he's refusing he does not taking any calls he is done with his threats and we don't know what he's gonna do next with the baby okay fine so the cops get them I remember when my mom got to the police station the cops called me and say um, your mom is here she's telling us the stories and I confirmed everything and they say um, we're gonna go to the house we're gonna go collect the baby uh, we hope everything goes well and then after that because this case now the person I was talking to it says is child abduction irregardless that he is the biological father of the baby this is still uh, child abduction so we got there they took the baby and then after they call, they called me they called me back in the police station again and then i remember then the guy who called me and said do you want to open a case because here you do have a solid case i'm like no just it's okay let me just have the baby i don't want bad vibes between us i just didn't like his threats but i don't want us to have court cases and what what not my mistake and then i'm like oh he's the you know like i'm always looking out for this dude bruh and it's not the first time one day i'm gonna tell you about my abusive story my gender-based violence story where he almost killed me and my unborn child and we were hospitalized and it was not the first time we were, i was hospitalized more than three times when i was pregnant i remember at some point he bit me beat us to almost to death and i had to get stitches you guys but it's a story for another day i'm not here for that that is gonna come with its own video that one is hot it's juicy and on top of that i still stuck up for him and say no don't arrest him yeah you know people who go through gender-based violence and yet we stand up for those people and yet we do not leave guys i don't know what but it happens it happens okay we're not there we're not there so from that day i remember it was the 24th of july when my daughter was one year one year few months i don't know yeah do the math but she was one year one year which is may june july she was one year two months so on that day on the 24th of july that was the last day he took care of my child and i didn't have no problem with it i remember on that day that mother um sent me a message let me read the message to you guys i keep i keep my proof i always keep my proof uh, ever since my lawyer said every conversation we have with him everything just keep proof <coughs> i've been keeping proof i want to read out something i just hope it's here for some i printed them out oh, blah, blah, blah. oh gosh oh there's just so many messages Ooh, and then my phone decides to go blank on me. Yay! Guys, my phone is just blank. Okay, let me try to find it. But the message was like, uh, please um, pick up my phone. Pick up the phone. It's me calling. I need to... Oh, okay, wait. I don't want to just say things for the sake of saying it. I want to say it with proof. Mm -hmm, there's so many messages. Okay, huh? Oh, here's the message. She took the boyfriend's phone and she sent me a message and she's like, Comma phone is running. <laughs> this was 20. Oh gosh, I can't tell my phone is. Okay, never mind about that. So, okay, fine. I'm thinking now she wanna talk sense. She wanna sort things out. She wants us to sit down and talk about what just happened. But. For my surprise, it took a wrong turn. She started like she. I answered the phone and she's like, it's, "It's." She started saying, "Okay, I am Josh's girlfriend," and 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 then she started swearing at me. She started telling me that he will never take off the child ever again. He will never pay maintenance. He will never, and he's gonna cancel out the medical aid. Um, he uh, he's gonna stop paying the accounts closing account for our daughter. I'm never gonna receive any cash from him. Was she joking? Nope. She did everything was cancelled. It was cancelled. Like trust the power of a, 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 a girlfriend. Trust the power of a girlfriend because these people go through extremes to hurt us. Ne? She did that and I was like, okay, fine. I found when I went to check all those things, I found that indeed everything was cancelled, everything was closed. I'm like, okay, fine. It means it's me and my daughter alone and i'm like okay it's fine i don't have a problem with it i can deal with it 
I get back to this child. So I made an oath with God that whatever comes my way to regarding this child, I'm going to stand up for it. I'm going to do whatever it takes because you made me a mother for a reason. You gave me this child for a reason. Even if I had to raise this child my, by myself, God, I'm going to do it. Okay? Cool. So then fast forward to Vandag. What's today's date? The 21st of December 2021. Me and a girl. I pick up the phone. I'm like, oh, Josh. And I'm like, okay, guy. Hi, how are you? Good, good. I need to, I have a question. I have a question that I need to, you to answer to clarify me. When are you going to start taking care of our daughter financially? Because you know our daughter goes to school and our daughter needs uniform, needs this, needs food and what, 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 now. Did I ask for it? I did. And I got it. I got it. Oh, guys, that is boom. He blows up. Like, he's telling me he'll never do that. Blah, blah, blah. Like, yo, we get into it. We get into it. You know how. And then I'm like, if you're having so many problems, I've been advising this guy for the longest time I could ever remember that he must go to a family court. Go to the family. If I'm denying you the child, Go to the because he keeps saying that I am denying him the child. And if you can go back to my video where I said a uh, co parenting chronicle stepmother don't do you will hear that I did let him see my child. And it was not the first time he used to get the child up until oh baby uh, stepmother said, Yeah, now she's gonna stop everything, he's not even gonna come see the child. That is not my fault. He decided and he went with it. And mind you, at that time, I didn't even say anything to him, we didn't even speak. She's the one who came and, and, and said whatever she said. Fine, so today I call him. Guys, I'm gonna read this out for you because I wrote, I wrote everything that he said down. I want I don't wanna misquote him. I don't wanna say lies. I just wanna read as it is. Guys, it's so bad for us baby mamas because we end up being labeled baby mama drama and don't 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 well we don't have it. Our fault is having babies with the people and our our relationship ends and that's the blame, that's the only fault we have. But other than that, I don't blame ladies. And we don't have drama most of the time. I don't have drama. I don't nag him on what to do. I raised my child for the past three years. I took care of my child without asking him for cent. Oh, wait. January, I wrote it down. January, he knew that our child is supposed to go to school. Oh, because I'm somebody. Oh, somebody's calling me. Oh, sorry about that. Um, And I know they're going to call back. So. On January, when the do when our daughter is supposed to go to school, so this is what I do. I did. I I called. I didn't call. I sent. I used my daughter's phone to send him um the school forms and the account number so that he does not have to send the money to me, but pay the school by sending me proof and so that I can send to the school. That's all. That's all I wanted. That's all I requested of him. That was January this year. Yes, didn't he send a message back and he said he will never do that? Yeah, he didn't. And he, he was throwing that forward like, I'm never going to do that. I'm like, okay. God, like, you didn't do that. I'm, I'm on my own with this. I'm like, okay, fine. So at that time, I remember I was just retrenched from the company that I was working for. We were all retrenched. And then I didn't have money. I remember I didn't have savings at that time. And then I was lucky I found another job. And then when I got my second pay, I remember it was June. I contacted the school because the school is nearby. It's a private school. It's a good school. It's Meridian College. Those who know Meridian College from Zanin. And then they were they were able to um, secure a seat for my daughter. So my daughter didn't start school in the beginning of the year. My daughter started school in the middle of the year, June. I think it started on the second or third of June. That's when my daughter started school. Fine. When he says he will never do anything for this child, guys, I took it for granted. Like, I really took it for granted. Men can be cruel. And the funny thing, when we're busy talking about all this today, and I'm like, so, you're, 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 you're doing this out of spite so that you can hurt me. And it's like, yes, I'll never take out that child because I know it will kill you. <laughs> Guys, be wise who you have kids with. 
big white and if i can tell you this is a well respected man in the community people love him he's well like he they worship the ground he works in he works a good job guys he works at the band he has a proper position he earns really good but he says he will never ever take care of his child and yet he doesn't want to go to ooh, family law but me now to be honest i really want him to go to family court because i want him to explain to the to the people there why he doesn't want to take care of his kid his child because the reasons he's giving me to me they don't make sense maybe they're going to make sense to about family court people because they know how to deal with this matter and the reason why i advise him to go to family court is because i know there by law if they say they grant him a 50 uh, 50 co-parenting uh it means that uh, when school closes when the school closes the baby would have to go to his side and vice versa will be alternating the child like that and which is good for me because it will be like it will be legally so you understand then we'll be legally co-parenting but he doesn't want that eh, i wonder what is, why is what is ghetto like really so so <laughs> So today he finally gave me reasons why he does not want to take care of our daughter. He says, I'm gonna read. I'm sorry. He won't support our child because he does not cause that mom. She okay, he does not support our child. What am I saying? Uh, he isn't he won't support our child because uh my daughter does not cause the stepmom mommy. And yet she calls her by her name. Mothers, come here. What is this? Imagine your baby daddy saying like she, he is not gonna support his own biological dad because the baby doesn't call a stepmother mommy. She calls him by name. I mean but her by name. And he goes again and say, uh, it's because my daughter disrespects the girlfriend <laughs> i'm out of words so yet they want to write oh and then I, oh and then he says he doesn't oh oh you won't take care of the child because the child is not staying with me the child is staying with my mother So with that, I'm supposed to give him the child to raise the right. The child is not supposed to be raised by my pet, my, my family. Is supposed to be raised by him. So that's another reason why he won't take care of his child. Hmm. And another thing he says, I am teaching my daughter to be disrespectful to his girlfriend. Guys, I don't stay with my daughter. I don't stay with my daughter full time. I work in Johannesburg. My daughter stays in Limpopo. My daughter is with my mom. And I made it a point that I wanted my daughter to have a, a, a family, not a family, like both her parents in her life. So what I do is me, I communicate with my daughter like almost like 10 times in a day. Like that's that's me. I call her like all the time. The only time I don't call her is when she's at school. But so since I call, so I used to do this thing of, um, I would conference the dad me and her so that we can talk to her and she feels like we are both present in her life even though we are not there full time in her life but she knows that mommy loves me daddy loves me they're always talking to me that we do homeworks with her we would teach her things over the phone like i want her to have that presence that they are not physically with me but they are there and they they're making an effort to be in my life but i was wrong and I'm doing this to a person who doesn't want to take care of my child. And another thing, I'm not doing it for him. I'm doing it for my child. Because I feel like it's a necessity for my child to feel the presence of both parents. And regardless how much me and him hate each, hate each other. But the priority must be the child. And yet they call us baby mamas with drama. What drama is that? What drama? You don't want to take care of your child because your child doesn't call your girlfriend mommy guys ah no please maybe if i'm wrong don't be scared to tell me that i'm wrong correct me on the comments down below give me advice on what to do with this because guys this is beyond me like guys fellow baby mamas advice 
on the comment section please guys put your comments down there advise your sister i need your help <laughs> oh another thing is he's um he doesn't want to uh, uh take out the baby because me and i don't want to move uh move on i'm still hung up on him baby honey i am counting down to ugulili zela i am counting down to see my cows honey <laughs> men will humble you after god fear men after god fear baby daddies but anyway anyway thank you for watching my video thank you for watching my event please leave your comments down below whatever comment is welcome it is welcome my beautiful people i love you love peace and happiness let me go cool off bye you guys peace out